You guys, how are you? I am here with my good friend, Lena, and she brought along her little recycling bin this time. We are super excited to talk to you about the wonderful world of recycling. Now that we have spoken at length about landfills and garbage, now we get to the good stuff, the stuff that really excites us. Yay! I want to talk to you about a little bit about recycling right now, specifically the recycling of plastics. For the most part, you can look on the bottom of the products in order to see a code. I'm sure you're familiar with the recycling code, but it's the typical recycling symbol that looks just like Lena's recycling bin right there. So you will see the recycling symbol and then you might see a series of letters and numbers. So there might be a code anywhere between one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. The smaller the number, the more easier it is to recycle. So for example, this one, which is milk, is typically gonna be a number one. And you might see a symbol on it or some letters that say either P-E-T-E -E or H-D-P-E. -H so this one right here is actually a number two. This is some glue that I bought. This one, I'm looking at the bottom. This one is also a number two, which is an H-D-P-E. I have here some beauty stuff. And this one is also an HDPE. This one right here, this is supposed to be um, an ice pack. It's, it's like all liquidy, but you're supposed to put it in a freezer and it freezes and you put it in a cooler when you're packing a lunch or on a picnic or traveling somewhere. I don't remember how I got it, but it might be a little bit deceiving because you would see this humongous package and you would think, oh, this is gonna be one of the larger numbers. But when you look on the bottom, um, and it ends up being a number two HDPE. So you, it, it's really just best to look at the bottom of all these strange plastic products that you have and figure out, can you recycle it or can you not? So this one is kind of interesting. This one is a McDonald's cup from a promotion that they had back in March. Please excuse me for holding on to uh, an old dirty cup from McDonald's for the last month. I know we're at the end of April, but I am doing something creative with it. So anywho, um, if you look on the bottom, um, well, I'm looking at the bottom, and it, there's a number five for PP, which is propylene, and this is towards the end of the recycling codes chart from one to seven. So again, the larger the number, the more difficult it is to recycle. This one will be really, really hard to recycle, and even I'm tempted to recycle it. I'm tempted to just toss it in there. For the most part, I think that most places will accept lower numbers like between one, two, and three, but the higher the number, you probably should take a minute to check with your local laws and regulations. What's interesting is that a lot of these departments of public works and recycling centers like throughout the United States, they will publish a lot of this information on the internet. So even if you don't feel like calling, you don't have to call. Just look on the website for wherever it is that you live and they will tell you the laws and regulations, they will they will flat out tell you what they recycle and what they don't. So some of this stuff that you might have hanging around in your house, please take the time to figure out and see if they can recycle it. For some reason that I still haven't figured out because I haven't studied it yet, I know that you can recycle the packaging, like the actual packaging of your household goods, but for whatever reason, you can't recycle the lids. So we talked about the lids already with the Starbucks uh, drink and some of these other caps and lids. Um, this might sound a bit, you know, like I'm asking a lot, but if it's possible, if you could please take the take the item after you after you eat the food or use the item, just take the item, recycle the packaging, and then take the lids and caps, wash them, collect them. Once you have a nice collection going on, please donate them to a local school, to an artist, to an art teacher. I I promise you there's some beautiful stuff out there what people make with items that they recycled.